Get it? There. Thanks. Here, give me your guns. Can't take them out on the street. Ah, uh, right. Much as I'd like to. Oh, well, of course you would, you fucking murderer. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. God, this is giving me flashbacks. Okay, so I'm wondering what what's gonna happen if I just go up and don't fight. Okay. <laughs> Come on, I just want a truce, man. I don't I don't wanna fight. Oh thanks. Oh my goodness. It's not even the same guy anymore. The other guy must have quit. Oh my goodness. Nope. That was a mistake. Yeah, this isn't really working out. Where did he come from? Another, where, where are these people? What is going on? Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> oh my god, they've done it again. They've done the whole motivation shift thing. What, do they... What, this is, they've done this twice now. They don't know how to... They don't understand that characters don't shift motivations like that. That guy went from wanting to kill me to full dementia and forgetting I was there. <laughs> My god. Who is that? Wait, what? 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 Sorry, what? It spawned me right back. Why? Why did it kill me? Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Alright, so this was a short video, and it's probably because most of this game was actually good. There weren't a lot of noteworthy problems with this game. At most, its biggest flaw is probably that it still follows that boring Uncharted formula. But despite that, Uncharted 3 is, in my eyes, the best of the original trilogy. The story manages the branch into a far more reflective tone, and this really isn't often seen in these games. There's a clear improvement to the combat, uh, but unfortunately its core gameplay doesn't see much of a change. And if you've seen the videos I made on the last two games, it's likely you'll realise that, for me at least, the gameplay is the weakest element of the series. I mentioned just a second ago that they take a very different tone with the story here, and although that's mostly true, they don't fully capitalise on it. The serious tone all too often clashes with this happy-go-lucky Nathan Drake adventure, so most of the emotional beats never really hit as hard as they should. Overall, I like the direction this game took, but Without the story taking full advantage of this change in tone, everything feels really stilted. Mixed in with some fantastic combat but limiting gameplay, this one's getting a 6 out of 10. And now that um, some time has passed since I played the first two games, uh, I've come to the conclusion that I was a little too lenient, and as such I'm going to change them to a 5 out of 10. But despite all that, uh, in the words of Minecraft Steve, a legend game. Mm -hmm.